Welcome back everybody to another episode of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Yes, that's its full name. I'm still gonna call it Super Mario RPG. Anyway, previously we started off the game and we beat the Hammer Bro. Today we are actually gonna be going through the Mushroom Kingdom. Where you have to explain to the Chancellor why uh why Peach is not with us. So uh let's go. Anytime you're in a town, you can just explore, talk to uh, any people. Hey, hey Mario, my brother's waiting for you upstairs. You can talk to anyone and uh, nothing too major. So his brother's upstairs. One, two, three. I think I've been practicing. Enough. I'll jump just as high as you, Mario. Sure. Yeah. On my recording software, it's actually he's going in like two frames. While on a TV, you can actually like I can see his uh, frames going up and down. It's funny. <laughs> Excuse me. Speed it up fast enough, and then you can actually just have him in place. Anyway, in a town, you could just go and talk to the the locals and all that. It's pretty funny. Say hey, Mario. Guess what? Rainy, Rainy is just a friend anymore. We're getting married. Do you know? Do you happen to know of a good wedding chapel? Hey, did you see a crocodile around here? He talks like a monster wannabe. I'm sure, he's up to no good. Hey, wait a sec. My wallet's gone. Damn, he got mugged. Hope my grandchild turns out to be like the princess. Mario, let's say you and I get hitched in a few years, okay? Just. Give me time to grow in my mother's wedding dress. One other thing about this uh this toad is that when he was talk or when she was talking to us, we can just uh stop her, jump on the toad's head, and after like three uh spins around, Mario gets dizzy and just falls off. So nice to see our young ones having a good time. <laughs> so yeah, here's an introduction to item shops. Right, what a pleasant surprise. One of Froxius's grandchildren is running out errands today. I didn't see them though. Oh, you're here to shop? What are you looking for? With a shop, we can actually go here and uh, buy items, buy equipment, and uh, buy pins, which are basically accessories in the game. So, yeah. Uh, what was this? Jump shoes. J jump. Use a jump attack on against any. Ugh, I can read today, guys. Use a jump attack against any foe. And the antidote pin prevents poison damage, which is not bad. Also, in item shops, we can also sell our items we don't want, sell weapons we don't want or that we've just used before. And even in this, we can equip as soon as we buy a weapon or a piece of armor, we can equip it immediately so we don't have to do it out in the wild. I mostly forget to do this. So, uh, yeah. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get off there this minute. Yeah, I like fooling around. So, go down here and I order you to stand before me. Here? All right. All right, now I order you to jump. There you go. In this world, there are things called hidden treasures. Use your awesome jumping ability to look for them. So, yeah. Um, in this world, there are hidden blocks in the game which have something. This one had a flower, which means our flower went up by one. One other thing, which is what I'm trying to do, which is one of the most tedious things in this game, is that there is another hidden block here. Uh, hopefully, I can get him to move to where I want. If you want to reset, if you reset the room, so like if you go upstairs again, he'll be in the middle of the room again. Where I want him to be, where he is not gonna go, apparently. Let me just reset the room. It's actually near the damn stairs. So, uh, oops. As you saw, Mario didn't move forward. Fuck. There we go. Second flower. That, that one sucks because you actually have to move him. Or force him to go in that direction. So yeah. With that shopping out of the way, another thing in, in any of these uh, towns are inns with the star icon. You can talk to the inn owner, 
you can crash in a bed then it will cost you you don't have to if you don't want to but most of the time when you're here you have a uh a save block so uh let's just save and uh go on what do you do Toe? oh shut up okay we'll just go up and we have a toad sleeping here it's not like i'm always sleeping sure you do also there's a reason why i saved as well let's talk to this person and then hey mario look what you're standing in ha made you jump I haven't seen princess host too lately what bowser got her again i love the fucking writing in this game dude anyway go to <coughs> enter the castle and mario there you are tell the chance you're here i'll wait for you down the hall instead of waiting down the hall jump onto its head and go up here there's a hidden block here with one of the worst things in the game frog coins that is a frog coin frog coins suck and usually you don't know that that coin is there until you look it up or you uh, miss it there is no way to grab that frog coin later in the game there is one other chance but most of the time try to get that frog coin before leaving the before you talk to the chancellor because that is your only chance to get it sir mario has arrived so walk up here and we can talk to the chancellor mario thank goodness you're here we heard an explosion or something at bowser's keep it was so loud i almost dropped my spores uh excuse me where's the princess she departed for your house hours ago <sighs> i fear the worst could bowser be, be could bowser somehow be behind all this yes so basically um bowser and i bowser stole peach and uh, got kidnapped again spores alive you're telling us that bowser has adopted the princess again hmm never mind it will be up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Toastu. No, I can't. So, me and Bowser, we are fighting, and then I whooped his ass. Peach was there, and I was going to save her, and then we felt a tremor in the ground, and we got launched out. I landed too near my pad, and uh, I told Toad what happened. I went back to Bowser's keep, but the bridge is out, and then I told Toad that I couldn't go back there. No, I'm not going to be voicing all these. It's just that it's very funny to put your own spin into it. Mario does this all the time where he actually transforms into other people to explain the story because he's a silent protagonist, but it's very funny. Egad, the keep is unassailable. What awful powers at work here. Mario, her life is in, is in your hands. Please save her, dear princess. Sure. Mario. What? I almost forgot. This may not help you, but why don't you take it along? We got a map. Yeah, Mario. And we fall to the door. Forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the cell and prepare for your journey. The vault guard shall assist you. Sure. But instead of going to the, uh, the vault, we're going to go up. Enter this room and we get to Toadstool's room. The princess hasn't returned yet. Can you imagine how the chances must feel? Oh yeah, it's just the princess's bed and all that. Check here, and we found Toadstool's something. Hey there, what do you think you're doing? I'll give you the exchange to see everything where it was. We get a free mushroom from doing that. It's funny. Actually, in the Japanese version, those question marks are three X's. So, uh, I don't know, impl implications are implications. So, we go here, we can actually go to this door and see the guest room. The vault guard better not be goofing off while cleaning the guest room. So yeah. <clears throat> go out here, talk to this toad. Mario, the chancellor has filled me in. Come, let me show you around. Help yourself to the treasures. So, you'll explain what each of these three have. This is a coin. Small ones are worth one and large ones are worth ten. This one's a ten. This is a flower. The more you gather, the more flower points you'll have in battle. Find them. 
this mushroom will restore your hit points and your flower points. Unfortunately, mushrooms you find as items only restore your HP, so beware. You know about flower points? Yes. You sure got your act together, Mario. So yeah, flower points are basically our magic in the game, so if you know any RPG, you know what to do. Let's leave the castle. Come back here! Bye. Hey, that crocodile that guy was talking about. And whoever that boy is, come back here. I mean, you did a good job following him, but like, why don't you just keep going forward? Unless that canyon is super, uh, super top. That cliff is like super tall that you cannot see above it. Oh no, that reptile stole my grandpa's coin. I can't cry, big boys don't cry. But it's just not fair. What am I gonna do? Uh, his crying affects the weather. Great. Rain or shine, I shall fulfill my duty. Do anyone else have anything? Don't know what that reptile's up to, but man, can he jump. There you are. It was that reptile. He's the one who stole my wallet, but I let him get away. Oh, you catch a death of cold. Come on, let's dry off. But I want to play outside. Do you say the same thing? Yep, you do say the same thing. So to stop this rain, we got to talk to this cauliflower boy. Yes, gee, you're soaking wet, aren't you? Yeah. I'm all right now, sorry. It doesn't look like a good cry. But why was I crying? There was some reason. My grandpa asked me to buy some things for, for him here. And when I walked into town, that croc stopped me. He took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he was way too fast. All right, let's see how you're going to take care of Bowser. Wow, he doesn't stand a chance. Wow, you're the Mario? And all about you, you got more jump than a box of frogs. I'm Mallow from Typo Pond. I'm a frog, but can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch the thief? Sure. <clears throat> the young frog Mallow, who does not look at all like a frog, joins Mario in his quest. Hopefully, I zoomed in on all those words. So yeah, now we got Mallow in the team. And we got a second party member. Hey, Mallow, what kept you? I'm starting to worry. Wait until you hear this. You see... Wait, I already heard. Old Frog, she just told me. He seems to know everything. Hold on. Listen, the truth of the matter is, uh, the coin was stolen. What? Well, if that's the case, I guess we can't trade. What a shame, huh? Oh, but there's no need. Mario will help. here will help us. That's, um... Well, if Mario's on your back, or Mario's on your team, then you'll have the coin back in a jiffy. Not so fast, take this with you. You probably need it. Yeah, go here, and you'll get a free pick-me-up. A pick-me-up is basically like your 1-up shrooms, your phoenix downs, your revival weapon, your revival item. Mario, I have something to report, sir. I saw him. He's here somewhere. He just zoomed past me a second ago. Did you see him? Did he look something like this? Why, yes, exactly. He's the one who took my coin. Why didn't you stop him? Because I forgot my bazooka at home. Sheesh, give me a break here. Come back here. All right, all right. Use a muggle, never catch me. A snail, I could outrun you, morons. Later. That's him. Hurry, Mario, let's get him. So yeah, that's our man. Go out here, and we get to Bandit's Way. Which we will get a new area here. There he is. He'll probably stash it in that bag. Let's nab him. Are you trying to tell me? Go on home to your mom before you get hurt, kid. So, yeah. Ah. Uh, other than that, we got a new party member, Mallow. Mallow is, uh... Only good for magic. 
His unarmed is pretty good, but uh, I, it's not something to write home about. And uh, most of the time, you, you're just gonna have Mario do damage and Malo to do magic. Something I didn't say in the previous episode about timed hits was that every magic move in the game does have a timed hit. Some moves do have them and they do say it. Others don't. Like previously, I think I told you about the jump, but for Thunderbolt, for uh, Mallow, this one doesn't tell you, you have to figure it out. So when we do some attacks, I will be mostly explaining how to do the action command for all the moves in the game, mostly. Hammer here, you just press A when the uh, hammer comes down. For Malo, once his first fist stretches, you press A. And uh, other than that, it's just a simple way. Um, previous episode, I did like probably leave the uh, the website for the speed running for the speedrunners about the uh, game where it does show you every single move in the game to uh, get an action command for. And it does help you out with the and the humans as well, because I don't think if this was explained in the previous episode, they could be on text on screen right now. But um, the uh, the attack window is actually instead of five frames for defending, it's seven frames for double damage. And there is a frame window like uh, the same one for the defender for defending, like the attacking. And said it before, it's not a frame, it's a frame window. So like six to eight frames. Well, as I think all the enemies, they just save. And, uh, excuse me. Other than that, let's just keep on trucking along. You shouldn't, you couldn't jump to save your life, kid. So I guess it's your goodbye. Huh? Well, he grabbed the coin. Previously, we saw this flower jump on this flower and you can actually press the B button to time your jumps. So you can actually get up here. One thing about these fires is that you can stay on them. After a while, Mario will get dizzy again, like from the toad, and he'll just collapse. <laughs> just press B again to uh, get back to normal. These platforms in general, jump on them and then they will go forward. And uh, not too major. Hmm. I think I'm missing something here. Hmm. We're going this flat, going this, and we get a, a hidden block with a Kiro Kiro Cola. A Kiro Kiro Cola is basically one of the best items in the game for both selling and for uh, God, I forgot. I could just look it up. I could just like look it up in the menu, but I didn't know that it's really good for selling because it gets you a good old 200 coins. And I think if I no, I think I remembered. It's like, I think a full party heal. So uh, really good, but I mostly don't use it. So I just sell them. Yeah. <sighs> Other than that, uh, we get new new enemies. As you saw before, we got a uh, a uh, a frog hog. Now we got a couple canines. And one thing I didn't say in the previous episode that we'll say now is that these those flowers you saw, those flowers are basically random to get from a single enemy. It they differ per enemy. So uh, the spikies give you an attack up flower. The canines give you a once again. Once again, basically just. Let's you do your move again. 
it is a chance to uh get them so uh don't base your luck i think i've heard some people especially like some like some uh youtubers some other people saying that um that if you do more damage on your second on your second attack you will get a guaranteed once again but it's just rng one other thing in this game that people have said that not that i believe but like um that i've heard is that in this game there's a mechanic called freebies freebies are basically um <laughs> freebies are basically that if you use an item you'll get it back again for free it's like a free use of an item um i've seen some people say that freebies you can actually time it to get it back but it's most it's still random from what i've been looking up at the speedrunning website is that it's a 26 percent chance to get a freebie while a specific item has a 13 percent chance not bad it's still like a like a quarter chance but like it's not something to bank your strategy on oh you're a persistence bugger but i'm 100 miles ahead of you so let's just chase after Krakow. Whole point of this one is that you're supposed to catch up to Krako. He'll run away if he sees you, but if you go behind him, you'll just get him. But this time he's just gonna run away. Um, there you go. There's a box here. As I said, I usually fight every enemy in the screen. So anytime I get into a fight that has like no commentary, I will just like cut it out but in general i like having fun with um fights i like it's not like i like grinding i effing hate grinding in video games but uh i just fight every anyway because it's just fun <laughs> so i know some people are gonna hate that because it is um boring tedious you get nothing out of it but like I just do it because it's funny. So you can go all the way back to uh, the start. And you'll get nothing. So you'll just see all the enemies you missed. So uh, other than that, well, we're just doing these fights because I am me. But before I do that, one of Malo's own moves is called the Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt is an AOE. To get the action command, once you see the lightning flash on screen, not the sound cue, the lightning shows up on screen. Press the Y button to, uh, you press the button again. If you want a better, a better way of doing it, before the lightning bolt disappears, you press the Y button again. Like that. Other than that, it just pretty funny so let's just keep on going along one more goomba um one thing i will say though is that the screen size for this video is a lot more zoomed in than normal most games from like the snes era to N64 have like a screen up and down and on the sides as well. It's like normal because that's how uh, it originally was for like CRTs and the CRT will just normally get rid of those. So like when it enlarges, those things get cropped out immediately. <laughs> Nothing too bad, but in modern day where you have like a pretty good tv um it's just there not as a nuisance but it's just there as a relic of the past but uh yeah i mean here's the thing and the video will cut out from it oh man damn i gotta change this again well time to cut and we are back. So to show you what I mean is that I'm recording this on OBS so you guys can know. So I can actually like switch between uh, 
both uh, versions. This is what it normally looks like for you guys that I had to zoom it in. So like the battle screen is like full screen and then you get like the same four by three aspect ratio. If I deactivate this screen here and go back to the original one, you'll see what I mean by this game, by me increasing it because there's just a lot more area. So it's not like of the relic of the CRT era. It's not bad, but like I think most people just don't want to see a screen that small. So uh, that's why I have the screen you guys have now. Sorry for like all this mumbo jumbo of getting rid of screens and all that, but it's easier to show you than just telling. Go on forward and we just have Croco here waiting. And this is what I was thinking. Give it up already. The treasure box is tempted, but now's not the time. So jump here, jump here. Flip. Damn, I missed it. All right. Good old, good old jump button not being red. Oops, wrong button. Or wrong timing. To 10 and zero. Nice. I got both the do not both miss and uh, perfect timing, huh? All right. HP max are pretty simple. If you get an HP max flower, you will get your HP back to full. The free mushroom in the middle of the map. Get that and then we get a star and we could just go around, beat all the canines. It's pretty funny. So yeah, anytime you do a star, man, you can just skip the fight and it'll still count the experience you get. So Mars on level four. So yeah, you can keep waiting on this and you could just uh, get to the next item block. And this does take some time. Not that you get used to, but like time to get it across. And you can also like jump earlier than you should, jump later than you should. So you can actually move it towards the block you want. Just be careful because if you fall off, you will fight the canines again. Pretty funny. But uh, Hooray. I am not using the uh, I'm not using the uh, what do you call it? The lightning bolt again because I'm almost out of FP. I just want to keep fighting the normal way. Nice. So, one other thing about like Mario RPG in general is that uh, this was like a score as they did with fee. This is a Square Enix game, which is very weird to say a Nintendo licensed Square Enix game because I don't know when people think Square Enix, they think of Final Fantasy. Hell, now Square Enix, I think, is uh, apparent with 14. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, go through here and we fight Croco again. Dead end. And they won't give up. I'll just have to hide. So, yeah, you'll just go around on these areas. And now we get to the best part about it. He's gone into hiding. Let's see if we can sneak up him and catch him. We get a full restore. And uh, anytime you hear his that little running sound, he's moved to a new area. Go behind him. Don't you don't even have to press the A button. You just have to go behind him and you will trigger progression. Ha, your eyes are much faster than your feet. At this rate, it'll take you uh, 100 more years to catch me. And then he'll run off to a new location. This is luck dependent. What's this? You fools can chase down a pumpkin. If he sees you, he'll go run away. I think he's also triggered by the sound. So like if you run, he'll just hear you. It's funny. So like walk towards him and you'll be fine. He will look at the general direction that you're in. So uh, you could just like brute force it to get the, uh, the thing you want. It's very funny. There's no penalty for not catching him behind him he'll just move to a new to a new spot but if you keep um or if you know where he's going you can just get him at this rate it'll take you uh, 50 more years to catch me 
and there is it again you again this is getting old it'll still take you uh, shut up enough you got me fair and square i'll give you back your coin ow whoa did you really believe me i was lying second mini boss our boy croco and our boy croco is weak to fire fire orb you press the y button as fast as you can but don't do that fire orb actually has a rhythm to it if you match as fast as you can you won't get the most amount of bang for your buck if you press it in a rhythm which i can't explain because it's really hard you'll get a constant stream of fire and that is the most damage you can do Ouch! When he says that, you've got him, and he'll just be wasting turns dousing a tail fire. You can keep going with fire to do more damage. So let's see here. Three mess ups. That's not. That's really bad. Twenty-four damage though. It's pretty funny though that uh, now we just get to fight him like this. Damn it. 74 again. I've gotten the perfect timing before once, so. It's pretty funny. Weird mushroom. Once he uses weird mushroom, that you know that he's almost done. I want to say, like, I think half health. I think it's like two thirds of health. He's not weak to any other magics. It's just fire, so just use uh, either Mallow to heal with uh, mushrooms or just attack him normally. Use all your FP on Mario and you'll be fine. What are you grabbing from your bag now, Krako? A bomb. Hefty damage. 22. So he had 60 and I think we almost got him. I think one more hammer will do it. Oh no, one, not one more hammer. All right, let's just keep going then. Yeah. Excuse me. And Mario is dead. Wow. So yeah, pick me up is here to just pick him up. There we go. There's our freebie. Nice. So yeah. Um. Nah. I wanted to use a honey syrup, but nah. I'm gonna just keep fighting him. There you go. Give me back my coin, or I'll belt you again. Ouch. I'm gonna pay you back in spades, kid. Go on, take back your grubby old coin. Adios, amigos. And we got our frog coin back. All right, we got it back. And we're done with the fight. Beat Croco and we get a flower tap. Yeah, we did it. We got grandpa's coin back. I can finish my errand now. Hey, look at this. Croco left the wallet. If you remember that toad from, to from uh, Mushroom Kingdom, he lost his wallet. So uh, we should probably give it back to him. I'm going back to the shop in Mushroom Kingdom. Are you coming? Go on that spring and we get to leave bandits way and uh if anything the enemies that were here when we were, we were trying to chase croco are gone they were only there for hindering us from making progression so i wouldn't recommend fighting them jump on the freaking spring we go back here to where the save block is so we can save again and we can leave bandits way to use our coin Avoid the enemies and we can finally use his coin. I went to mushroom way then I fuck. Uh, we could use our coin to buy whatever the fuck Mallow wanted to buy his grandpa. Huh? Whoa. I want to complete whatever the fuck happened here but we are out of time so next time in super mario rpg we're gonna be checking out why there's a bunch of pogoing shy guys in mushroom kingdom talk to you then